clinical features and classification of oral submucous fibrosis. Now, what are the symptoms? Progressive inability to open the mouth due to oral fibrosis and scarring. Sometimes oral pain is seen. Burning sensation upon consumption of spicy foodstuffs is an important symptom. There is increased salivation and change of gestatory sensation. Also, hearing loss is sometimes seen. Dryness of the mouth, nasal tonality to the voice, dysphagia to solids, and impaired mouth movements are important symptoms of oral submucous fibrosis. Wahipian classified oral submucous fibrosis in three groups on the basis of clinical features, severity, and extent of involvement. In group 1, no symptoms are seen, only there is focal pallor or whitish discoloration of the mucosa. In group 2, symptoms of the soreness of the mucosa increase sensitivity to jelly. The lesions are diffuse, white, extensive, and indurated. The induration involves one or more anatomical sites. Whereas in group 3, trismus and firm mucosal bands are seen. Ohuja and Agrawal classified OSMF in three classes. In class 1, localized fibrous bands in the cheek are seen which extend from superior to inferior vestibular fornix on one or both sides. These bands are usually located in lips and second molar region is always involved. In class 2, generalized diffuse hardening of subepithelial tissues is seen. This hardening extends up to palate uvula and sometimes to the pillar of the fauces. Very rarely, the hardening may extend to the lining mucous membrane of the pharynx. Class 3 is a combination of classes 1 and 2 where the fibrous bands are associated with generalized diffuse form of submucous fibrosis. Button Dolakia classified OSMF in three grades. In grade 1, slightly small fibrous bands are seen. But in grade 2, there are pronounced symptoms of the disease with fibrous bands extending from cheek to palate area. Whereas group 3 shows excessive amount of fibrous banding which involves all anatomical areas of the mouth. Gupta et al. classified OSMF in three stages. In, in stage 1, stomatitis is seen and mucosa, in, mucosa is involved, various vesicles, mucosal ulcers, melanotic pigmentation and PTK are seen. In stage 2, fibrosis occurs in form of ruptured vesicles and ulcers and early lesions demonstrate blanching of oral mucosa. Older lesions include vertical and circular palpable fibrous bands in the buccal mucosa and around the mouth opening or lips, a moderate marble-like appearance of the mucosa because of vertical thick fibrous bands are seen and as a result there is blanching of mucosa. Specific findings include trismus, small tongue, blanched and leathery floor of the mouth, then there is rubbery soft palate with decreased mobility, then there are atropic tonsils, shrinken but like uvula is seen, thinking of the cheek suckers which is independent of age or nutritional status of the person and then there are speech and hearing defects. Stage 3 shows advanced change in the form of reduced mouth opening. Thank you.